David Seaton was born in 1907 at Portobello, where his family had been among the earliest settlers in the 1840s to arrive from Scotland. He went to school at Portobello, and then to Dunedin Technical College, before beginning an electrical engineering apprenticeship with Turnbull and Jones. He completed his time amidst the Great Depression, but could find no work in Dunedin as an electrical engineer. Instead, he moved to North Otago, where he became a tractor driver and threshing mill manager at Alma. When war was declared in August 1939, David was among the first to volunteer for overseas service. He became a private in the 23rd Canterbury Otago Infantry Battalion, and after basic training at Burnham, he sailed for England with the second echelon of the 2nd New Zealand Expeditionary Force in May 1940. They spent the rest of 1940 on standby in case of a German invasion of Britain, but when that failed to eventuate, the battalion was deployed to Greece in March 1941. This, the New Zealand Division's first active engagement of the war, was unfortunately in a campaign that was doomed to fail from the outset. British political commitments to Greece required a show of force to assist in the defence of the Greek islands against an expected German invasion. But the military resources supplied were to prove grossly inadequate, especially the lack of air cover. The New Zealanders, spearheading the Allied force, found themselves during April 1941 fighting a defensive withdrawal through the Greek mainland against overwhelming enemy forces. David's battalion was evacuated from Greece to the Mediterranean island of Crete, but they were once more to be overwhelmed by German forces following an airborne invasion on 20 May. The New Zealand troops put up a tenacious though unsuccessful defence of Crete, the 23rd Battalion being held in reserve until ordered to attack the town of Galatas on the evening of 25 May 1941. David Seaton's company mounted a bayonet charge in their efforts to take the village, walking into German machine gun fire by successfully taking the town in a 20 minute battle. Many non-New Zealand observers have rated this as one of the greatest bayonet charges in military history. David played a leading role in this charge, but at the cost of his life. Forced to charge up a narrow street, a machine gun held up the attack for a minute or two until Private David Seaton broke the spell by striding forward firing his Bren gun from the hip. While he kept up steady bursts, others edged round to a flank and knocked out the machine gun with grenades. Seaton was killed, but the attack surged on again. Within five days of David's death, most of his fellow New Zealanders had either been evacuated from Crete or captured. David is buried at Suda Bay Cemetery, but also has a memorial plaque on the family grave at Portobello Cemetery. He was 34.